Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing amazing today, sending light and blessings your way. And we're going to hop in, just do a collective reading. So let's see what comes out. Please remember, just take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for all the support. And same goes if you're a member. Thank you so much for all the support. Welcome back. So let's hop right into it. Okay. Got one out so far. Six of Cups energy. Definitely a family card. Okay, so it looks like an imbalance when it comes to your family right now, home life, possibly to do with a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If this is someone you're in a relationship with, there could be a separation between the two of you. We've got the Eight of Cups energy. Looking like you had to walk away from this person in order to get a sense of stability back in your life. Yeah, they could have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Queen of Swords energy there. So notice how just the pair are in reverse and the eight of pentacles. So if your person was involved in a third party situation, ultimately this person really threw you off balance. And this is what this queen of swords goal was to do was just to come up and kind of mess up your relationship in one way or another, because here you are having to walk away from someone you once considered to be your person. So ace of pentacles in reverse could have been a separation if you live together, the two of you having to part ways, if you are married, having to get a divorce over this specific energy that got in between you. Let's see if it's someone you knew, because possibly it could have been a family member. And if not, it just really represents the fact that this person came in between you and your person and your family life and really just like disrupted the balance of the relationship between you and your person, especially if you guys live together. Wow. Five of cups. Yeah. This person intentionally inserted themselves right in the middle of your relationship. So like this could have been someone you knew in one way or another, or if not, it was a friend of your person's or someone that they worked with. This person though, painted your person a bunch of false illusions in order to get with them, in order to take them away from you. Wow. And they thought it was going to bring balance to their life by taking your person away from them or away from you to them. So you could have definitely had an air sign. And if not, just someone representing that cold, detached energy, just because it's the Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone really emotionless when it came to you or your thoughts and feelings on the situation. And look at you were someone who was just trying to build with your person. And ultimately you are someone who's fair and balanced. So for this person to like come in between you and your person, it really could have put the separation between the two of you or put you in a difficult feeling state of being, knowing that this person was trying to block you from being happy with your person. But wow, judgment is here. Look at that. Knight of Wands in reverse. It's like the end of the passion or this person trying to even manipulate your person into wanting to be with them. It's over. Judgment's here in order for you and your person to actually come back together or in order for this third party just to be removed from the situation altogether. It's just that it's really important for you and your person to be reunited. And at this moment in time, especially if you have a family, if you have kids or if you had any sort of attachments together, your person's really missing that. And they definitely feel the imbalance of what had happened in the past, causing you two to go to your separate ways. Now with the King Queen of Swords and the King of Cups both being in reverse, this signifies that this person is still kind of on the same page or level as this other energy and you're just elevating. So it's really going to be your choice if you want to go back to this person to balance out the connection and grow with them again, or if you want to keep moving forward as well, because for some of you, it's like the passion faded out when this person betrayed you with this other party here. And for some of you, that's how you're going to balance out the situation by growing and building on your own. For others of you, judgments here, though, to say if you want to have this 
reconnection with your person, this forgiveness towards them, then that's what they're wanting to do as well. It looks like too with the Queen of Swords in reverse, this other person has no longer been in the situation. Like maybe they just casually were talking or if your person did give in to temptation, it was like a short lived thing. It wasn't a very long relationship. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, like the two of them didn't grow anything solid. It was just more of a passion based connection. And for a lot of you, it was either just this person wanting to come and take your person because they knew them and wanted them or they just wanted to break up the relationship, cause some sort of separation. Now with Page of Swords in reverse, when we split the deck, wow, and Page of Wands. So this person dealing with your person could have definitely been someone younger than you and your person. Sun in reverse, look at that. This really caused a big rift in the relationship between you and your person. You could feel a lack of passion these days, feeling like, they used to be the star of your life. They used to be someone you could really count on and rely on. And after that happened, it just felt like a disconnect in the relationship. Like you're not sure if you can trust them moving forward, if they're going to try to be with someone else again, or if they're going to be someone you can trust. Three cups, literally. So you're just worried, are you going to be in another third party situation with this person? And basically here, it's like the world is at your hands. It's time for you to move forward and realize that love exists for you anywhere you want to find it. Trust in self-love and healing and knowing that if this person was taking away from your happiness, you will find a better partner out there that will add to it. With the lovers as well, definitely looks like you could have new love that will potentially be coming in for you soon. Get a couple clarifiers on the new love. So we almost had the Queen of Pentacles flip over, so it could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or it could just represent someone who is abundant, successful, could be a Leo as well. Now, right now, it's the time just to have the strength to know that ultimately the decision is yours if you want to move forward or if you want to let go of this connection, if you feel like it's just been overwhelming. And quite frankly, for some of you, it could just be that it's over it's it's time's up when this person chose the third party they really made that decision you feel like for the two of you to end this relationship now that won't resonate with everyone for some of you you definitely just feel like there is a huge separation between you but for a lot of you you could be deciding either you want this person to just work on themselves a bit more before you come together or you might take a chance elsewhere so really, in reality, it's almost like they are going to grow and change, but it's going to take some time for this person to be able to balance out the situation with you and to regain your trust. For a lot of you, they do see you as a person they want to spend with the long term. They see you as a great person to be with, a long term lover. But ultimately, they know that they have either betrayed you in the past or broken your trust in one way or another and broken the passion between you. Definitely, too, if you're dealing with a fire sign or an Aquarius, we've got Aries, Leo, Sag here, and Leo again, Leo again. So, wow, definitely a lot of fire energy could be dealing with a fire sign, but regardless of sign, just definitely represents this person. Still does have passion for you, but they feel like in one way or another, you're not totally into it anymore. So, let's see what love messages they want to deliver to you see if there's anything that they're not saying okay so we had two just jump out first one says let me show you off more so this person wants to show you off possibly in in your relationship amongst your friends and family or just in general so it says i'm ready to build our lives together now i'm sorry i ran in the past you are my person. No one has ever made me as happy as you have. Let's start our own family together. I'm ready now, love. So that's really beautiful. Wow, look at that. So your person's definitely just letting you know that they're ready to start this family with you now. Okay, so... <laughs> that is a lot. They were all like sliding out. So the first one says, I will stand by your side no matter what. Loyalty equals 100%. 
So your person feels very loyal to you after this separation, knowing that they would never put you in this position again. It says, I'm sorry I chose someone else. It's the biggest regret of my life. So there you go. Your person definitely acknowledging if they put you in some sort of third party in the past, they regret it. They know that they either made the wrong decision or they just didn't consider your feelings. And for some of them, they still feel like they needed to make that decision for themselves. But they're just like unhappy with how they handled it. So we've got, I'm unsure how to approach our connection lately. So definitely feeling like your person is standoffish after they had put you in a weird position. I need my own space is the next one. So your person just needs time to think. And that could also be a message for you collective saying, hey, you know, you really used to see this person one way as your shining star, your light, your love, your mentor. And when they chose a third party, ultimately they really let you down. And for some of you, you know that you still have love for this person, but you could just really need your own space, your own time to heal and overcome these past painful memories or burdens. So another message from your person says, I started talking to people outside of our relationship. I'm sorry for that and confused as to where to go next. So that definitely makes sense with that there. So your person's almost acknowledging too, there could even be another energy that's still lingering or someone else that they're interested in. So it says, I had a dream about you recently. Do you ever dream of me? So your person often dreams of you and the relationship or just you in general. It says, I want to be the only person you need. I want to protect you with my love. You have my heart. So beautiful. Now, the next one we've got is you inspire me to be a better person every day. Thank you for that. So this is how your person feels about you. They feel like, especially too, if you weren't the person with the third party, you really were the solid person in the connection and you were loyal to them. So now they just want to be able to show the same loyalty back to you. So the next one says, you are my sunshine through the storm. So no matter what, your person acknowledging that you have really guided them through some difficult times in their life, some heartbreaking times, and even through the separation, they still feel like you are their sunshine. So that is so makes sense now why the sun is in reverse, because with the two of you in separation, or experiencing some sort of stormy weathers in the relationship and maybe miscommunications, the sun is in reverse. So your person feels like the sun only shines when the two of you are on the same page for some of you, which would make sense. We had those couple page cards out. I want to come home. I'm ready to make things right between us. I'm sorry for ever letting you down. Wow, so your person definitely has a lot to say when it comes to the connection. Let's see if we get any more final messages for this collective reading. Okay, so that was a lot. So let's just take the top. I think that's two or three there. We'll take those. See what happens. First one says, in case I haven't told you lately how important you are to me, I just wanted to remind you, you mean everything. So that's really sweet. If you two are in the middle of a separation, your person acknowledging how much love they have for you says, I love you to the moon and back. And final message from your person for this collective reading. I wish you would take me back. Wow. So this person definitely knowing that however they let you down in the past, it's just like was their own lesson to learn. And for a lot of them, they realized as soon as they started going through it, that you were their person, you were the person they were supposed to commit to, but they could have also just been the non-committal type, talking to people outside of the relationship, not taking your relationship serious. And in one way or another, you really woke this person up to the depths of love and the true connection that they shared with you. So that's really beautiful energy to be in. Know that this person just looks like they need their own space and time to really just come to terms with everything that could have happened between you, especially with, I'm sorry, I chose someone else. It's my biggest regret. So say that they chose someone else in the connection. Your person is letting you know that they just need to heal and overcome. And when they're ready, they're going to come forward and let you know the extent of their feelings and how they're really hoping you'll take them back for some of you. So please remember to only make that resonate if you feel like that's your story. If not, leave it for someone else and go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel 
Until next time, sending light and blessings. Take care.